Hi everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. and I'm excited today. We've got a lot going on. We're going to do some serious summertime styling with a variety of styles including short, medium, and long. And I'm excited to announce a giveaway contest. I think you all know that one of my very favorite styling tools to use of all time is the square bands. It's a hinged hair band. It is very easy to use. It's nice and secure, and it's very gentle on wigs. So today I have three square bands to give away in some of their newest designs. So I have one here in uh, just plain white. They come in these really cute little mesh bags that are easy to take with you when you travel. And then they're wrapped in plastic here. So this is just a plain white band. It's very practical. It goes with absolutely every style. This is one of their newer colors as well. So keeping with that neutral color theme, this one is gray. So kind of gray is the new black, right? It can go with everything. And this one actually has a five rows of rhinestones on the arms. And then their newest design. Their newest design is a black band and it has, instead of the rhinestone crystals, it has opal crystals. I love how the opals are just so iridescent. It gives a beautiful touch to a very simple, elegant band. So each of the bands will come in their mesh bags and all the packaging that you see here to enter this giveaway contest, simply like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and enter a comment. The comment is what's going to be used for a random drawing. I'll do one drawing for each band. So please stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this epic styling event for your wigs today. Just to give you a little bit of inspiration and creativity to work with your wigs. Or pixie and have a lot of versatility if you're creative with them. Like this beautiful Evan by John Renault in the color 12 FS8 today. In the summertime, I love this little band here. It's a paisley square band. I got this last year from Square Bands. And this is my favorite one to wear. It's kind of crazy and loud but I love it. So this one here, if you just kind of rest it right down behind the ear in the middle of the hair, keep some hair out around the fringe, that gives you a fresh little summertime look. The other way you could wear it, whether you have a lace front or not, it's your preference, but you could go in from the front. So take the arms right above the ear and then hang on to the wig as you move this back out some little pieces right around the front so that keeps more of the hair off of the face my best friend got me a couple of these scarves um, I think she said she got them at Target or something and when she saw them she says I bet Taz could use these in her videos and so I was thinking of some really neat fun ways to use these little scarves in my hair so in a on a pixie you just pull it from the nape, come up on top of the head, and then do either a, just a single knot, or you could tie, you know, a bow. Isn't that cute? What I like to do with my pixies is just really bring out the texture. So if you've got a lot of layers in your pixies, kind of take advantage of that to make it just an easy breezy style. You can change up the part, you can use a little bit of contour cream to spike it up. Going back wearing a John Renault's Julianne in the color Toasted March Marshmallow 27 T613F. And it's just, it's just beautiful with all of this curl. Who doesn't love curl? And especially in the summertime, I'm a curl girl no matter what. The trick in the summertime to stay cool and still look cute is maybe bring it off the face or bring it off the neck. You can come in from the front, 
to bring it off of the face and this really does work guys this using the the square bands really removes the hair from around the face and it keeps it nice and cool we're going to take it a little step further and get the hair off of the neck you see me do this quite a bit this is a little uh, pressure clip here and I always love using it to bring the hair off of the neck by drawing it into a ponytail and the ponytail when I use that pressure clip the ponytail actually stays off of the neck so I found a way to achieve a cute look by using you're seeing this right toilet tissue so we're going to create a cute little rolled up do so the first thing I want to do is to leave some out around the face but otherwise I'm going to clip it right behind the ear now that I have it clipped behind the ear I am going to prepare my toilet tissue so I'm gonna unroll I would say that's about 18 to 20 inches there and then I'm going to make a soft little roll with it so what you're going to end up with is just this little kind of a cigar width piece of rolled up toilet tissue in the back I'm going to take the hair and pull it together like this. I'm going to place the tissue at the bottom. I'm going to tuck it around the roll and then proceed to roll it up. Then I'm going to use bobby pins to secure it. I'm going to three, use three bobby pins. The first one I place is going to be in the middle and then I'll place one on either side of that roll. So you just want to make sure that uh, all of the toilet paper is obscured and rolled up into that roll here. And if you do have darker hair, you'll just have to be especially, especially careful that all of the toilet paper is rolled up into the hair and you can't see it. Now don't get caught out in a rainstorm because then you'll end up in a soggy mess. But isn't this cute? to some styling options, summertime styling options for those longer wig styles. So I really put a lot of thought into some fun, casual, unique, and simple styling options for your longer styles. I'm wearing Ocean by Aesthetica in RH1488 RT8. It's beautiful. It has all kinds of tousled, messy wave to it. So with the style design, I'm going to start by using just two little clips and I'm going to take the hair and clip behind the ear loosely. The next step is you want to take all of the hair in the back, gather it together, and give it a couple of nice twists. and then you want to let it kind of loosely fall to the nape and you're going to secure it with a medium size like jaw clip so you're going to get a really messy look out of that and then to enhance that kind of that messiness you're going to pick out just a few little tendrils all the way around just a couple it's cute it's cool kind of bohemian so what I think I want to do with Jaden just to kind of make it into a summer style for me is to bring some of the hair away from the face and off of the cap into a half up and half down what I would do is I would gather the hair just behind the hairline on both sides 
and kind of divide it down the middle. And then I want you to twist them together. And then very casually, just behind the crown, you'll make a clip. And then be careful that all of the wefts are covered by the remaining hair. And you've got yourself a half up, half down. Do you remember John Renault's Gigi in the color Salted Caramel? So I think Gigi would look especially cute in pigtails. What do you think? I don't think you're too old ever to wear pigtails. Um, if that's you and your personality and uh, the way we're going to do it, I think it could go for all ages. So what you want to do is to kind of divide the hair loosely in the back. So once you have that hair divided, and it does not have to be a perfect part, it does not have to be even, then I want you to take all the hair to the side and I want you to pull it up right behind the ear tightly. Pull out a little bit here at the temple to obscure that uh, ear tab. And then what I'm using here, you could use um, you know, rubber bands or anything to secure the pigtail. I'm actually using um, the medium, the medium clip here. And I'm gonna I'm going to clip that to the base of the cap, all the way up to the base of the cap. Isn't that cute? Now, what I would probably do is sport this look with a bit of a hat. So let's try it out. The hat will just make the pigtails look a little more intentional because the pigtails are going to get the hair off of the neck and relieve you from the heat. The fun continues with Jaden. We're going to form a ponytail with Jaden. So gathering all the hair at the back, pull out just a bit here at the sides, a couple of tendrils there at the sides. Now what I'm using is a rubber band and it is coated so that it doesn't snag the hair. And I'm going to have to go uh, through it twice to make sure that the ponytail is secured at the base of the cap with that rubber, with that elastic. Another one of these beautiful scarves that my best friend gave me. We're going to use this in our style. So we're going to take the end and we're going to push it up through the elastic. And since I have such a long scarf, I'm going to pull it up about halfway. I'm going to take that a step further. by twisting I'm going to twist the ponytail up into that bandana and then I'm going to use a large claw clip to secure it in a bun. 